Hi there, yeah, some art students. So today we're gonna be setting you a task of keeping a record of all the things that have allowed you to handle the lockdown, whether it's things that have brought you joy or things that have allowed you to do your work and fulfill responsibilities that you have. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to arrange them nicely on a square, all laid out and clear for us to see. Now, obviously, I don't expect you to arrange absolutely everything, but a sampling of the things that have allowed you to do well. I'm gonna talk you through some of my examples so you understand the sorts of things that I expect you to include. So, what's underneath right here is a quilt that my grandmother made for me, which I haven't seen since I was seven years old until it was given to me when my baby was born, and now it's his. But I'll be honest, I've been cuddling with it a lot through this time. It's brought me a lot of comfort. Over here, hard to point, is a picture of my family. My family's given me a lot of comfort and support during this time. Um, there's a book here from one of my sisters. She gave it to me for uh, Christmas, and I have really been enjoying it, but it's a slow read. I'm having a little bit of trouble finding time to read, naturally, because I've got so many other things going. You can also see my laptop. Those of you who've been in my classroom know my work laptop, know what it looks like, well, my personal laptop that I use for work all the crazy stickers that represent me. Over here is a mouse that a friend gave me because my trackpad stopped working and I need to do work and write report cards desperately. So we arranged a little trade of art supplies for a mouse and I've got a mouse. You can also see things like the Xbox controller, paint brushes, my favorite chocolate bar, a quilt I'm making a, my son, a sewing machine that I'm using, a painting that I'm working on, a pot, because I tend to make oatmeal for breakfast. Um, the baby monitor, which is, wow, this is hard to coordinate, um, is up here, which is currently off, so I can record this video because my son's napping, but that baby monitor has been really helpful because it kind of gives me bursts of time to work. Selection of my paints, some more paintings, some paint brushes, including my favorite paintbrush, which broke, but I'm still using it a great deal. So all I want you to do is go through your things and find the things that are most important to you that allow you to do your work and do well during COVID and bring you some joy and some happiness, okay, some satisfaction during this time and lay them out beautifully like you'll see in the photograph that, I, that I've done and Miss Lair has done a sample as well. I'm hoping to have a few more teachers do a few more samples so you should get a bit of a peek into the coping mechanisms and the survival methods that we've all had during this lockdown. I look forward to seeing everyone's displays. Thanks. As you look through some of the examples by the other teachers at our school, you can see that not all of them have laid out their objects very neatly, so please try to do so neatly. And some of them have included themselves in their pictures. Some of them have included their pets. And feel free to do that if you like, but it is very important that you lay out your objects nice and neat and orderly because we're working on balance and rhythm throughout these projects. You're not just taking a photo, you're creating a piece of art. So please don't forget that.